All right, all right. What's up, everybody? This is Scott with Hoy Bros Reptiles. If you haven't been able to tell already, we're going to be going over some of the different tarantulas in our collection today. These first two I got here are the Acantha Scuria, Janetta Latata. Uh, sorry, I'm not that great with pronouncing the scientific names, but I'll try my best with it. They're also known as the Brazilian White Knee. And these two's name is Brock and Gene. This is Brock here on the right. And Gene there. On the level well, Brock. Brock on the left, Gene on the right, sorry. Uh, as you can see, both about the same size. I got them together about two years ago and they they've grown up pretty well for me. They still got a ways to go. These guys normally reach about eight inches in leg span. <clears throat> All right, next up we have my Aphonopelma hensi. It's actually the only Aphonopelma willing to participate this evening. <laughs> uh, but anyway, also known as the Texas Tane or Texas Brown Tarantula. They are native here to the United States. And pretty cool little guy. Really docile. Neat little tarantula. And here we have the bracket pelma ratum, the Mexican flame knee, not to be mistaken with the Mexican red knee. I'm going to show you one of those here in a minute so we can tell the difference there. And this one's name is Miss Pris because she is a pain in my butt. She always wants to rearrange her enclosure on me and is never quite happy with how I set her up. But other than that, she's a beautiful, beautiful specimen and we're very happy to have her here in our collection okay and now we have the brachypelma hamori or brachypelma smithy it'll always be smithy in my heart <laughs> but anyway this is the mexican red knee the one i was telling you just a second ago slightly resembles the Mexican flame knee, well, Mexican flame knee resembles the red knee. Uh, this one right here is the Hobby Classic. A beautiful little, maybe three inch specimen. She uh, just molted for me recently and turned out to be female, so that was a happy surprise for us here at Hoy Bros. Okay, so sticking with the Brachypelmas, we have the Brachypelma Vagans here, the Mexican Red Rump, another beautiful species native to Mexico, and you can see she's got a big red booty, that's why they call them the Mexican Red Rump, of course, and this girl I've had for about three and a half years now as well, I got her as a sex female. Um, fear not tarantulas about three and a half years ago like I said and here we have our CC pubescence the green bottle blue tarantula and this is the one that most people want to see because uh, as you can see it is very pretty sporting the greenish blue and orange abdomen it's just a really cool looking tarantula. And like I've said with just about every other one, another must have in your collection. This is just a really cool display species. As you can see, she's webbed up her entire enclosure. And she's just a really neat, cool looking tarantula. Everybody wants to see a blue tarantula. Well, there you go. There's the blue tarantula. And up next here we have the sea darlingy, the rear horned baboon. And I had to uh, give her a little mealworm here to coax her out of her hole. But they are called the rear horned baboon because they have a little horn on the top of their carapace there pointing toward their butt. Uh, really cool looking species, really fast, aggressive species. As you can see, she's pretty much a pet hole. She just likes to 
sit down in the bottom of her enclosure here and if I ever want to catch a glimpse of her I gotta coax her out with some sort of food but pretty fun to keep I like baboons I got a few of them in my collection okay gonna go ahead and move on and here we have our grandma stola pulchra also known as the Brazilian black and she is a beautiful uh, three and a half maybe four inch female and she's a bit on the chunky side right now so I expect her to molt any time now um, just a very very beautiful species my one of my personal favorites there's just nothing prettier than a jet black spider right after a fresh molt um, Hopefully I can post updates of her as soon as she does molt for us so you guys can see that true beauty. And I'd like to look at her all day, but we need to go ahead and move on now. The bug snug. And here we're going to show you some of the baby tarantulas in our collection. Our slings, we call them. And we get them at about a half inch to an inch and keep them in containers like these until they're big enough to go in something else and the first guy we're going to show you over here is called the P. Lagardi the Fort Hall baboon I don't know if you can see him down there in the corner or not eh, it's most baboon species that are pet hole and back there we have a E. marinus the skeleton knee tarantula and down here we have a P. Menictus, the king baboon. And we have several other species in here. Little teeny tiny slings raising up. And here we have one of my dwarf species, the Davis Penalorus, the Guatemalan tiger rump. And it looks like she's actually laying a little hammock there to mold on see her abdomen there she's definitely looks to be in pre-mold with that big shiny booty huh. be pretty cool our little pumpkin patch tarantula just molded earlier today so it'd be pretty cool to have both the dwarf tarantulas molt in the same day huh. to keep you guys updated on that one And here we have the Ulysses SB Red. And this one actually isn't a baby, just a really slow growing species. Uh, it's about three, maybe four years old now, and it's only uh, less than an inch still. So, and very cool little species, though. Very friendly. She just wants to come out of there. And I better get the lid back on here before she makes her way to the top there. And here we have the Lassa Dora Clue Guy, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. And She's still got quite a ways to go before being at bird eater status, but she's put on some pretty good size for us here over the last couple of years. Yeah, pretty neat species. A lot more docile than the big one I'm about to show you. And here we have our Lassadora parahibana, the Brazilian salmon pink bird eater. And she is probably the biggest tarantula in our collection. She's about eight inches right now. And she's only about four years old. We've been raising her since she was about one inch. And she's grown up to be a big, beautiful tarantula like you see here. Excuse the little water droplets on her back. We just got done misting the enclosures right before we made this video. And, yeah, she's a... Pretty big spider. Still got a little bit of growing to do, but she's pretty big nonetheless. And this is our Salmapoas 
E. Marina, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger, and sorry for the glare here, but if I open this enclosure to get a better shot, she's going to dart right for her hide. So, let's see if we can get a little bit better look here, but I'm telling you, she's going to go in that hide the minute I try to open this. Yep, see? <laughs> Told you so. Yeah. And here we have another Salmopoas species, the Salmopoas pulcher, also known as the Panama Blonde. And she's another one that I've raised up from a small half inch spiderling. Got her about three years ago as a half inch spiderling. And you can see she's a big, beautiful blonde tarantula now. Here we have another arboreal species, and this one here is the Pokytherma regalis, the Indian ornamental. And she looks like she's in pre mole also with that big fat butt. And she's been spending most of her time in her hide here, so. Fortunately, I am able to get a pretty good shot of her here through the glass, so eh, at least we get to see her a little bit here. You can see she's completely trashed her enclosure, but wait for her to mold again before we go ahead and clean that out. Eh, let's go ahead and move on. And down here we have the Pocotherma. Formosa, the uh, Salem ornamental, and for an arboreal tarantula, she sure spends a lot of her time on the ground here, <laughs> down down inside of her little burrow here. You only see see her abdomen there, but eh, wanted to include her since we could see a little bit of her. Uh, just as I suspected, the Davis Penalorus is molting. So we're going to go ahead and end this video here, guys. That way we can try to catch her molting and maybe get another video up for you later. Hey, we appreciate the support, guys. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, guys. Bye.